自分の声を聞きたい。I want your voice here. <笑>ちょっと恥ずかしいです。恥ずかしい。あ、don't be shy, don't be shy。私たちとても温かい人。わかりました。後で言葉で話します。後でかい。後でかい。俺らカスタム言っちゃうって。So I made an AI for weeps to understand and speak fluent Japanese, and I'm going to show how you can use it too. Last video, we coded out a program that allows us to communicate with other Japanese players as an anime waifu. However, that's only one way of the conversation. We still have to create a script to translate whatever Japanese voice chat we hear in game for people who don't understand Japanese. One interesting comment in the last video, and yes, I do read every single comment, suggests recording the game audio whenever the speaker icon lights up, which is not a bad idea. There are just some issues with it. One thing is that some users have mics with low audio. Thresholds, so any small noises like typing on the keyboard will also cause that icon to light up. So it's not a very reliable way to record audio. Another issue is that this would force our program to only be limited to Apex and not be compatible with other applications like Discord. And last, but the real reason that this suggestion won't work, I do not have the expertise to code something like that since it will require some object or edge detection image processing techniques. Which, looking at how complicated the process is, uh, let's just. Say it's for compatibility reasons. Instead, we'll be using some real-time transcription code written by DavaBase, so we don't have to actually detect when to record audio. We can just constantly listen to it in the background. This script is actually really well made, displaying a transcript which constantly updates as you speak into your mic. So we'll be making some edits to the code to listen to our game audio instead, and only print the latest translation. But simply printing to console isn't gonna cut it, especially while we are trying to destroy noobs in a full screen. Application having to alt tap every time you want to see a translation is pretty dumb. So we copy some code off of Stack Overflow to display the text on screen instead, and it looks almost identical to the subtitles that Nero Sama uses. The only problem right now is the position. So to configure that, let's take a look at TK Inter's documentation. Well, you guys know what time it is. It's time to get a little serious. Yup, I had to resort to asking my friend again for help. I swear you're not just my documentation reader. You know what? As thanks for helping me out twice now in this project, have you guys ever wanted to improve your VTuber watching experience? Well, do I have the application for you? Introducing Hollow Songs, a Chrome extension developed by my friend, aka Minchoko. This adds some really useful features to your YouTube player for VTuber streams, like allowing you to see the set list of songs, setting it on loop, and even skipping the talking sections, which I know some of you guys are. Guilty of doing because you don't understand what they're saying. Oh wait, we have our subtitles now. Uh, let me just fix the position, and now it looks pretty good. You can even customize the color of the text and the background if you like. But in all seriousness, without Min's help, this project wouldn't be possible. Not just because he helped me read documentation, but he has taught me almost everything I know about coding, from printing Hello World to where I am today. So show him some support and try out the extension for yourself. After testing the different Whisper AI models, I concluded that any model smaller than the small model is pretty inaccurate at transcribing Japanese, and any model bigger than that will cause a delay between hearing the audio and seeing the translation to take too much time. So we'll be sticking. With the small model. Also, since Whisper AI is trained on YouTube videos and their transcripts, the model might start hallucinating and think that it's hearing common phrases like "Thank you for watching." This is probably because the model is trained on an unreasonably large number of videos, where some put a "Thanks for watching" at the end of the video, even though nothing is being said. So now Whisper just transcribes any random noise that it can't accurately decipher as "Thanks for watching." And if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot that you're willing to see through the entire process of what I went through to build this AI system, and just being able to listen to my voice for this long, to be honest. But we aren't done just yet. Other than the new subtitle feature, I also made some improvements to the code from last video. Like here, this is technically busy waiting, which is bad for your CPU. This was the reason I felt laggy in the last video. There was about a half a second input lag on my keyboard because of my code. So I added in a sleep, which just tells my program to. 
take a break every half second. Now I don't experience any input latency on my keyboard, but this doesn't fix the fact that Apex servers are still pretty trash. Also the bug that I encountered which caused my program to crash, it was because I misclicked my push to talk key instead of holding it down, which called on key press and on key release functions simultaneously, resulting in an empty audio file being created. So I was basically sending an empty file to Whisper AI, which raised the error. So just by adding some basic error handling code, I can prevent this issue from crashing the whole program. I also made a Docker Compose file to run both Whisper AI and VoiceVox with a single command. So let's see if we are able to run these two Docker containers and Apex at the same time. But little did I know, for some reason, if I were to run Apex and the Docker containers at the same time, all the audio that I sent to Whisper AI to transcribe returns a request timeout. After doing some investigation, I realized I reached the max capacity for my GPU. And I wasn't using any ordinary low-end graphics card. I was using an NVIDIA RTX 3060, which should be above average. So there seems to be no way we're running both Whisper AI's real-time transcription and Apex at the same time, since both requires a lot of computing resources. Even setting the game's graphics to the lowest possible wasn't helping at all. Yup, we managed to come this far, making a voice translator and an audio subtitler that can break down the language barrier between weebs and Japanese people, and we failed right at the last step. I've spent hours trying to figure out a way to run this program without stressing my GPU, but without maybe using a smaller whisper model and sacrificing the accuracy of the translations, there was no way other than to maybe buy a better graphics card. I guess this is it. In the end, I'm just some noob programmer who started learning Python two years ago. There was no way I was going to complete a project this big. And now that I've uploaded the latest video, seeing everyone's supportive comments, all the cool ideas that everyone has brought up, even replying to some of them saying that I'll make the code public? Like, what's the point if it doesn't even work for most people? Maybe I should just give up on this entire project. Huh? Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time, Megumi? But I tried everything! I can't just expect people to have supercomputers to run this system, can I? Really? You too, Miku? I'm fine. I, I just... No, you have to go outside. You have to go to this project. Well, shit, you have a point. I can't believe I'm listening to advice from a bunch of anime waifus. Okay, it's way too bright out here. Wow, is that, is that how clouds look like? Jeez, it's been ages since I've seen the outside world. Maybe it is time to touch some grass. <laughs> 